Hey, welcome back. Okay, so to finalize our system, let's do a recap of how the whole system works and we go through our code and then we can call it a day on this series. So we have a home page here and we can have a shop page here. So let me just create that shop page real quickly. So I'm going to right click on OOP here, new file, and I'm going to copy everything that is inside of the index page, copy that and put it in the untitled and save as a shop.php. Okay, great. So now the important thing to remember when you create a new page is to put this if you want to check whether uh, somebody's logged in or not. If that page has sensitive data and you want to know if they're logged in, just copy all this code here. In fact, include the init page and then put that as well. This will work just fine. So let's change this one to shop. Okay, so this one is the shop page. And then these are just links to other pages. So let me just copy that one here do this, paste, and then close that like so. Obviously, I have to change that to shop like so. Okay, so now if I refresh the, uh, actually this isn't working because I am on the wrong page. So this header should have been a separate file, of course. That's how everybody does it, but just for the quick demonstration here, we don't need to do that. So I'm just going to copy from the other page and paste here. All right. So now if I click on the shop page, I can go to the shop page, home page. Wait 10 minutes. I'm fighting with my mouse here for some reason. So let me do this as well. Copy that. Copy this. And of course, change this to index.php. And I have to copy that to the other page as well. This is why including a head of page is good so that you just edit once. But uh, there we go. So we have a home page, shop page. And then we have the login page. If I go back, I'm still logged in. If I click log out, however, then I'm logged out now and I can't go to my index page like that unless I log in like so, and then we're good to go. So you see everything is working fine. The login, log out, shop, home, everything. So just to recap, if I come back here, I'm going to say for every uh, table that you have. So in this case, we only have one user's table. You must at least create a class for that particular table so that you can load data from that table and do stuff with it. So for example, if you had products, a products table, it would be a good idea to have a product class as well, just like we have a user class here. And then you can do similar operations here, get data, save data, update, delete, and so on. And then it's also good to obscure everything else. So for everything that is major, it's a good idea to create a class for it. For example, the session here, it was a good idea to create a class because in case we change things, uh, it would be good to be able to just change the class in order to change the entire functionality of the website. Website can, websites can get really big at times. So it's very, uh, it becomes necessary to use object-oriented programming to make the updating uh, job much easier. Because now if I update anything here, I update the whole website because the whole website is using this class. So same thing with the DB class, you must create a database class in order to connect to your database. That works very well because in case the way we connect to databases changes in future, all you have to do is come here and change this section, just these two lines of code here. And once you do that, 
you have changed the way the entire website connects to the database because every single connection goes through here. This is why uh, OOP is awesome. Okay, so I hope throughout this tutorial series you have learned something new and I will see you in other series. Thanks for watching.